Understanding the Tradition, Baptism of Infants. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting and meaningful topic within the English language and culture, Baptism of Infants. This phrase is not only a linguistic construct but also a window into a rich cultural and religious tradition. Let's explore what it means, its origins, and why it's significant to so many people around the world. Stay with us to unlock another fascinating aspect of the English language and its cultural backdrop. Baptism of infants refers to a Christian sacrament that involves the Christian ritual of admitting a person into the Christian faith, specifically infants and young children. During this ceremony, water is poured on the child's head, or in some traditions, the child is immersed in water. This act symbolizes the cleansing of original sin, the child's official entry into the Christian community, and the commitment of the parents and godparents to raise the child in the faith. The practice of baptizing infants has its roots in the early Christian church. It is based on the theological belief that baptism washes away original sin and is a means of grace for becoming a member of the church. While the exact origins are debated among scholars, it is clear that by the 3rd century, infant baptism was a widespread practice in the Christian community. This tradition underscores the importance of community and faith from the earliest stages of life. Not all Christian denominations practice infant baptism in the same way. Catholic, Orthodox, and many Protestant denominations such as Lutherans and Anglicans perform infant baptism, each with its unique rituals and theological interpretations. On the other hand, denominations like Baptists and Pentecostals practice believers' baptism, where the individual makes a personal decision to be baptized, usually as an adolescent or adult. This section highlights the diversity within Christianity and how practices can vary significantly. In modern times, the practice of baptizing infants continues to be both cherished and debated within Christian communities. Supporters argue it's a vital tradition that ensures children are welcomed into the faith from birth. Critics, however, question the effectiveness of a ritual performed before an individual can consciously understand or accept faith. This ongoing debate reflects the evolving nature of religious practices and the importance of personal faith and community traditions. We hope this exploration of the baptism of infants has provided you with insight into its meaning, origins, and the variety of practices and beliefs surrounding it. It's a beautiful example of how language and culture intertwine, reflecting deep values, traditions, and debates within communities. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more enlightening content. Until next time, keep learning and exploring.